Hello, in this video we are going to see how to deploy Shopify functions to a Shopify store. So usually when we are developing a function, we install the app containing the function in a development store to be able to develop it with test data and easily debug any issues that may arise. But once you finish developing your function, the next step is to deploy it in a production store. This can happen in two ways, depending on what you are building your function for. So if you are building it for the Shopify app store, you will submit the full app containing the function for review and once approved, your function will be part of your app. So customers who install it from the App Store will have access to it. The other scenario will be if you're building your function as part of a custom app for a store you're directly working with. This is the scenario we will be covering in this video, but as a reminder, and as you can see here, Shopify functions which are part of a custom app will only work in Shopify Plus stores, with the only exception to this being development stores. The function we will deploy in this tutorial is this card transform function I created in a previous video. In short, what this function is doing is that for products that contain a colon in their title, it will shorten the title to only the text before the colon. So for example, for this product over here, once the customer adds this product color card, they will only see this part of the product title. This will also extend to checkout. If you want to see what the process for building this function was, or an in-depth tutorial of the card transform function, I will leave links to both of those videos in the video description. So the first thing we need to do to deploy this function is deploy the app containing it. So first, make sure the scopes in your shopify.app.tumble file match the scopes your app will need to access to. In this case, this app only contains this Shopify function and the only scope this function uses is write card transforms. But depending on the functions your app contains, these scopes here may also change. Now I'm going to run from the terminal at the topmost level of my app, so at the same level of this Shopify.app to tumble and this package in JSON, I'm going to run npm run deploy. This will run this deploy script from this package in JSON. And over here, I'm going to release this as a new version. After the deploy command finishes running, you will see something like this. So now I'm going to click on this and open this link. You can also manually navigate to it from partners. If you go to Shopify partners here, then click on apps. Then over here, find your app. And in versions over here, you will get to the same screen. However, from here, we are going to navigate to distribution. Here we have two options, either public distribution or custom distribution. We are going to use custom distribution because we are going to install this as a custom app. But if you were to distribute this in the Shopify app store, you will select this. Here we're going to once again confirm this is a custom distribution. And now here we have to put the URL of the store we are going to be deploying this to. In this case, it is this store, so I'm going to copy this part of the URL. Then add myshopify.com. And I'm going to generate a link. But before doing that, let's quickly take a look at this checkbox here, which is checked by default, and generally you will want to keep it like that, but basically, what this is doing is that Shopify Plus organizations can have multiple Plus stores linked to the same organization. So for example, a common use case of this is an organization that has one store for the United States market and another store for the Canadian market. As custom apps can only be installed in the store you specify here, what this checkbox does is that it will let you use the same install link for multiple stores as long as they are part of the same Shopify Plus organization. So now let's generate the link. And by using this link, I will be able to install my app in this function deploy store I created. Now I'm going to open a new tab and paste this link here, and it will ask me in what store I want to install this app. So I will select function deploy. Here we see that it can view and edit the store data, Shopify functions in particular, because that's the scope we selected. With card transforms over here, if you expand this, and now I'm going to install the app. And as you saw mentioned at the top, this app is exclusive to this store. Now I'm going to open a new tab and paste this link here, and it will ask me in what store I want to install this app. So I will select function deploying. Here we see 
that it can view and edit store data, Shopify functions in particular, because that's the scope we selected with cart transforms over here if you expand this. And now I'm going to install the app. And as you saw mentioned at the top, this app is exclusive to this store. So that's what custom distribution means. I cannot install this app in a different store after I send the link in the partners dashboard as I mentioned a moment ago. So as previously mentioned, what this implies is that I cannot install this app in other stores outside of this organization. Now that the application is installed, we have to enable the function by running a GraphQL mutation. For applications that only include a Shopify function, such as this one, the process is to install the GraphQL app so we can run the card transform create mutation from there. So let's do that. To install Shopify's GraphQL app, we have to go to this page over here. I will leave a link to it in the video description and click on install Shopify's GraphQL app. From here, we have to select the scopes we need. In this case, write and read card transforms should be enough. You can check any other of these if you want. But I will keep everything as is. And then I'm going to, once again, put the link to my store. So function deploy here. Dot my Shopify dot com. And I'm going to install this. Now from here, once this is installed, we should see a GraphQL editor over here. So the first thing we need to do is run Shopify functions, a function to get a query to get the ID for function. So let's get the first 10 functions. You can adjust that number depending on how many functions you have installed in your store. And I'm going to get the title and the ID of every function. In this case, the function I created is this one with this cart items rename title. So I'm going to grab this ID and copy it because now I'm going to use it in the mutation card transform create. So function ID here, I'm going to paste this and then let's get card transform ID if this was successful and user errors code and message if it wasn't. So we see an ID here, therefore this was successful and our function is successfully installed. So let's test it out. Before testing it out, a quick note about this step we just saw. Depending on the type of function you are installing, the mutation used here will change. This one, as the title suggests, is specific for car transform functions. So here you can see car transform create. But if you were deploying a discount code function, you will be using something like the discount code app create mutation. Or if you are deploying an automatic discount function, you will use the discount automatic app create mutation. So always take a look at the documentation for the function you are working with and use the appropriate mutation. So I'm going to preview the store here. And I used this product for testing. So I added a colon and then testing should high function after it. And if I add this product to the cart and view the cart here, we just see the tree P fulfilled the snowboard. So everything that was before the colon, everything that was after the colon, including the colon itself, got removed. And if I go to checkout, I see the same here. So by the product's title, it still contains here the canon and testing Shopify function. When the customer adds it to the cart, they won't see that part of the product's title. And just a reminder from the previous video that for the title we are updating with the function to appear in the cart, we had to make this modification in the code over here, replace item.product.title in the cart snippet over here to item.title because we are not modifying the title of the product itself. We are modifying the title of the current line containing this product. So that's why we have to use item.title. So let's say we want to push an update to the function. So let's add, for example, here, the word updated at the end of the title. To see that in the store we deployed this function to, we just need to run again npm run deploy. Wait for this to load. And we are going to see here a prompt asking us if we want to release this as a new version or not. I'm going to select yes. And this is going to build the function and release it as a new version. And now if I go to the store once again, click on this product and add it to the cart. View the cart here. You can see the word updated 
at the end of that product title. And here, if I go to checkout, you can see the word data again, which was the change we just introduced. And there you have it. This is how you deploy Shopify functions. If you found this video useful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify-related content, and I'll see you all in the next video.